Hey guys, Brennan Mejia here. You may recognize me as the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge, one of the biggest roles I've ever done to date. You may recognize me from it, but maybe you don't know how I became the Red Power Ranger. So I'm gonna break down that amazing story, but even more importantly, how Power Rangers not only saved my career in acting in more ways than you may realize, but why Power Rangers is so important to me personally. Before we dive into my story of how I became the Red Ranger in Dino Charge, did you know I actually auditioned for the season Power Rangers Samurai, which was two seasons before mine? I got that audition through my agent, was super excited because I grew up on Power Rangers, here was a chance to be a Power Ranger, and I was super nervous in all the auditions, but I really, really wanted it. And I got multiple callbacks. So a callback is basically after your first audition, they like you enough to bring you in for another round and then another round. So I believe I did three rounds total for Samurai. And I was auditioning for the Gold Ranger in Samurai. And I remember they wanted to see like a physical fight sequence and I wasn't as trained at the time yet. So I just kept doing punches and kicks and didn't really know what I was doing. And it was kind of a jumbled mess. And I ended up not booking it. I was so heartbroken after not getting that role and I ran into one of the actors who did get one of the roles on it years later at another audition and he just was like, yeah, it was so amazing and we got to do this and that living in New Zealand and I was just like so envious. A couple years later, they had auditioned for Megaforce. I just decided I wasn't gonna do Power Rangers anymore. They saw me, they didn't like me, I was jaded. And actually when the audition for Dino Charge was coming around, I had quit acting. I mean, I emailed my agents that I was done because I hadn't booked an acting role at that point in two years. I was working at the San Diego Zoo as an acrobat seven days a week during summer. I just wasn't getting enough work. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to college. I joined my college I was going to. I was doing online classes already while I was working at the zoo. And my agents were like, yeah, you know, we support you. When you're ready to come back, let us know. I got a phone call after that, of course, when you're about to quit and it's meant to happen, something happens. A buddy of mine that I went to an acting class with three years prior to this point called me and he's like, hey, I just had an audition and near my audition, they were doing an open call for Power Rangers. Open casting call means you don't need to have an agent or anything. You could just kind of self submit on something. And he's like, I went in and I remembered you were a circus performer when we did acting classes together. And I asked the casting director if they wanted to meet you because you just seemed perfect for Power Rangers. And they said, yes. And I was like, but they've seen me before if it's the same casting director, but sure, why not? So I told my agent that I literally just told I wasn't acting anymore, that Power Rangers wanted to see me. They set up an actual audition time with me. I drove from San Diego one of the days to LA, because again, I was working seven days a week at the zoo, and I did my audition. Really wasn't feeling it very much, didn't think it would turn into anything. And lo and behold, a week or two later, I got a callback. So they gave me new lines to learn. I didn't know which ranger color I was auditioning for. So they just had generic, these are the guy lines, these are the girl lines. You don't know what Power Ranger you're gonna be at this point. So I go to the callback, and at the callback, they wanna see some physical action, like a 30 second show us martial arts or something. So I do the callback, do my physical sequence. I got another callback. I was like, what is going on? I was quitting acting. Why am I getting all these callbacks all of a sudden? But I was starting to get excited, like, okay, maybe a little bit of hope was being ignited in me. And so I go to the third audition and it was a chemistry read. So chemistry read means they want you to audition alongside other actors. Cause typically when you go to an audition, you're just reading with the casting director or their assistant, which they sometimes give you a good performance. Sometimes they speak monotone, but this time I got to act with other actors and people are there with like nunchucks and swords and whatever they use for their physical demos. Uh, I brought my hand balancing canes, which are like Cirque du Soleil looking things that you do handstands on because that was my specialty. So I was like, I'm going to do what I'm good at. So I brought it into the audition room, did that. Again, I didn't know which color ranger I was going to be yet. So I brought a whole bunch of different colored shirts because I was like, well, maybe I'll be red or blue or green or black. And then I started finding out which color ranger I was auditioning for because they told me which shirt to change into. Once I told them, I brought the rainbow of shirts with me. And I did audition for black. Uh, I didn't get it. And I know I, I did a, a chemistry read one-on-one -on -one with Michael Tabor, who would go on to be our Green Ranger, Riley. So that was really cool because at the time, it was like a scene that never even made it into the show where we're talking about being at a carnival, giving him advice on like believing in himself. 
And after we both got cast, he told me when we did that scene together that he had a feeling I'd be cast as the Red Ranger. Lo and behold, it happened. And then I did a chemistry read with Yoshi and Camille, and I think one other person, I can't remember their name. Um, I don't think Davi was there, Claire wasn't there, if I recall, and James got cast in New Zealand. Same with the rest of our cast. Yeah, another, you know, just joking back and forth. I did a backflip in one of those auditions too, and I didn't hear anything for about a month, because they told us that was the final audition. I thought I didn't get it, because that's a long time to not hear anything. And actually, the casting director knew I was doing the San Diego Zoo, so she came and watched the show while I was at the zoo. And I was like, so do I get to trade my animal koala spandex for any other spandex? And she's like, oh, I don't know, you know, like playing coy. A couple days later, I get a call that they want to see me one more time for Power Rangers. And I was getting annoyed now. I was like, they've seen me so many times between Samurai and this, and I have to drive all the way to LA from San Diego and be back in time for my show. But I was like, fine, what do I have to lose? So I drive with my wife, then fiance, to LA and I do this final audition. I walk in, sign my name. I notice Yoshi's name is on it, who's our Blue Ranger Coda. And I walk into the room and they give me my scene. Normally they give you the lines before so you can you know, come in prepared because a lot of acting is preparation. But they're like, yeah, this is a cold read. Cold read meaning the scene is given to you pretty much right there. And I was like, great, can I walk into the waiting room to go over this a little bit? And they're like, no, 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 just do it right now. I was like, I've never even read it yet. They're like, no, it'll be fine. And I was like, oh my gosh, worst audition ever, I'm not booking it. So I'm reading the lines, trying to figure out what I'm doing as it's happening. And basically it's a scene where my character is talking to his mentor and the mentor gives me this magical box and is like, your destiny will be revealed in this box. I'm like, all right. So they actually handed me a box I opened the box, and in the box was a laminated picture of the Dino Charge Red Ranger saying, congratulations, Brennan Mejia, you're the Red Power Ranger. And I looked up and I was like, really? They're like, yeah. I was like, really? Congratulations! Really? Yeah. 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 For real? Yeah. yeah. And then they gave me this basket with like a bunch of Red Ranger themed candy and toys and hugs and not in the basket, they hugged me and told me that I was going to New Zealand and I booked the role. That was when my life changed forever. One thing I forgot to mention before that fake final audition, they actually had us run in the parking lot as part of our audition to see if we run heroically or not. And I only bring that up because it's funny because what is heroic running? Like, I don't know, if someone decides it's good form, I guess. I passed it, I guess. I did cross country in high school and I, we ended up going to a movie, all the Rangers with one of our producers and someone in the movie wasn't running heroically, I guess. And they pointed out to us, they're like, and that's why we made you guys run in the parking lot because that person didn't look heroic. It was just funny. But again, that's all subjective to who you're asking. Yes, so I booked Power Rangers and then I wasn't going immediately to New Zealand. There was like a month or two that we had to keep it a secret from everyone. So naturally I told my whole family, but uh, they swore them all to secrecy. So actually before we went to New Zealand to film, they announced us at this convention called Power Morphicon, which is the biggest Power Ranger convention, as far as I'm aware, in the world. I actually went to a Morphicon before I was a Power Ranger with my friend, Stephen Ford, because he was the Red Common Rider Dragon Knight and he was there as a guest prior and I went around walking around and got to meet a bunch of fans like myself and then this time I was going as the Ranger to be announced and I had really really long hair when I was cast. Our producer actually brought a hairstylist backstage to give me a haircut before walking on stage to announce us and it was still long but they brought the suits from the Super Sentai footage which is the Japanese version of our season over to America for us to wear onto stage before they made our own suits in New Zealand with all our actual measurements. So we got to go out there and they taught us this little catchphrase like, unleash the power, which none of us knew what that was referencing at the time. So we walk out there and we're all like, unleash the power or whatever. Or I think I said Dino Charger ready first. Maybe that's what it was. Anyway, it was cool. I was really nervous because there was like thousands of people and my heart was beating and I wasn't confident in myself yet for being a Power Ranger, but it was so incredible. Not only was it amazing to become a Power Ranger having been a fan, you know, my entire childhood and then into my adult life, but it made me recognize that I am an actor and that I love performing because I was at that point where I, I had really low self-esteem with acting. I was gonna quit. I was like, well, I'm good at fitness stuff, so maybe I'll just do that for a living. Uh, this acting thing didn't work out. But because of Power Rangers, it basically is the reason that I'm still an actor. It saved my career by making me remember what I loved about performing and being able to reach other people and at conventions all the time. I hear people tell me how when they were in high school or middle school, watching Dino Charge help them through dark times or whatever it was or the way I portrayed 
made my character, his positivity made them feel like they should never give up. And you just, you don't realize how much your roles or performances can affect people because you film them in these isolated bubbles on set. And if no one ever tells you, you just, you don't know if anyone even cares or watched it. So I really, really do enjoy meeting people at conventions or wherever, and especially when they have stories to tell me. And whether Dino Charge is their favorite season or not is whatever, but it's just super cool to be a part of a franchise that not only impacted me, but others as well. Now, if you're interested in the interactions between myself and my co-stars on Power Rangers, make sure to watch this next video.